testing this. So, okay, let me turn everything back on. Let me turn this off, and I'm live! Hopefully everything is working. Uh, this is definitely new. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm so nervous. Can you tell? Um, Alright, cool. So, I am Breezelbit. Breezel? Bree? Whatever... Whatever you guys prefer. Oh, God. Um, I've got my wine because I'm an adult. And um, yeah, we are. Well, I am, I guess. I am drawing my, my, um, mine and my boyfriend's uh, original characters for Monster of the Week, um, which is a role-playing game that we started um, with another couple of friends, uh, his sister, her fiance, and uh, another friend of ours. Um, so, uh, still very new. Also, it's my first role-play, like, live-action role-playing game that I've ever... I shouldn't say that. Live, that's a LARP. But whatever. The point is, it's it's the closest thing to Dungeons & Dragons I've ever played. Um, I definitely wanted to start playing it because... Um, Homegirl definitely became a huge fan of the Adventure Zone, so uh, let's get started. I will be drawing um, on my Cintiq, my Wacom Cintiq. Um, that was a graduation present for graduating a colleague, Kuleg. Brie graduated from Kuleg, um, so I got a very nice gift for my parents. Um, yeah, so, okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just gonna draw for a few hours, uh, just a couple hours. It might be pretty short. Um, but uh, yeah. All right. So let's go. Um, so uh, let's see. This one on the left. This is my character. Her name is Lily. Um, I haven't really come up with a last name. I want to say like Lily Gravely or. I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but, like, you know, teenage angst and stuff, it's definitely, well, she's not a teenager, I'm not a teenager, but, you know, it's, like, tapping into that edgy part of my soul that I still have. Um, so, anyway, this is uh, Lily. Um, she is, I guess, uh, the spooky. That's her alignment. Listen, I am not an expert on any of these terms. I want to be, but I am not. Uh, and I just really wanted to draw these characters. Um, this handsome gentleman on the right is Dario. I can't remember his last name. It escapes me. But, um, yeah, he, he, uh, is my boyfriend's character. And he, um, is based off of Dario Argento, I believe. The, uh, horror director. So, um, boyfriend's a huge film buff, so that's where he got his inspiration. My inspiration kind of came from a few, like, different video games that I played. Also, um, I just love creating characters. Like, I want to be a character artist at, video, at a video game studio. I'd love to do concept art. So, um, my imagination runs wild. I'm always coming up with characters in the good old noggin. So, um, that's kind of, I'm, she's kind of a mix between, um, she's kind of got a little bit of the, uh, Yumiko Jabami hair, very, very dark black with those, uh, cut bangs like that, um, and she's got kind of like the Angie Yonaga pigtails with like the kind of kimono type, style, style, type, style, style type, words, uh, fit of her clothes, um, you know, just a little bit of Danganronpa, a little bit of a... Oh, and then our our particular version of Monster of the Week is kind of based in the... It's almost like a Persona-style game. Um, so, like, we have, like, a separate... Definitely kind of like Persona... Well, I guess all the Persona games, really. Has, like, a separate world along with, like, the real world. And um, they get powers in the alternate world. So, um, my care I actually don't really know too much about my boyfriend's powers. I don't remember what he had come up with. But, um... My character's powers are based off of, um, she, she has these blank eyes, so I wanted to kind of draw from, like, the, uh, the lore of the faceless ghost, the faceless Japanese ghost, because those things are really freaky and fascinating, so, uh, yeah, she's got blank eyes, um, I've actually been wanting to cosplay her, but anyway, I should get to the drawing, since that's 
what I said I was going to do on this stream. I was going to draw. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, obviously I've started. You can, you guys can tell I've uh, started doing like some perspective. Um, yes, I know my perspective is off. I got, was told by several professors that uh, that was the case. Um, let's get rid of my line art. Um, I don't particularly like particularly like using line art because it's definitely that thing where it's like the sketch looks way better I think I'll show you guys my um my sketch there if I can just I'll just turn off everything bloop 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 freaky right uh here's my sketch layer um I actually sketched it I don't do this really often um but I got bored at work one day so what I actually did was I uh I sketched on a piece of paper um just pencil on like regular white paper and then i scanned it in and i actually changed the colors so it would be easier to see when i sketched back over it um with uh some line art but obviously digital line art looks kind of meh <laughs> it looks kind of weird so um that's kind of just like my digital base for that i, I kind of just started blocking in the skin and the hair um, and I've gotten to the point where I've done these flat colors. Oh, I should probably open up my, anyway, yeah. So I've done the flat colors. Um, oh God, I've definitely got to fix her hand. I know, it's the, ugh. her hand is so terrible. I hate it. Um, I can't really draw hands. We're going to fix it. We'll fix it. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, why was, I'm so distracted. Okay. Um, oh, let me open up my skin reference because I use a specific um, tutorial and I kind of sample colors just from that chart skin. Um, Navate, I, I think Navate is their name, um, probably from DeviantArt. Um, I had an art professor. Yeah, okay, so I want to give them credit. Navate.com, Lauren K. Tannen. Um, amazing skin chart, all the different colors. It She breaks it down. They break it down, I shouldn't assume. They break it down um, based off of like what type of skin you want, mid-tones, like, because skin is so complicated to paint. Skin has like all these undertones and overtones and highlights and whatever, and you know, if you just pick one, it doesn't, well, I guess everybody can draw whatever they want, you know, like they can do a stylized. I, I, I tend to stray a little further, uh, definitely not super hyper-realistic, like I'm not going for like, it's supposed to look like a photograph um a because i don't particularly i don't i don't know i kind of want a painting to look like a painting and uh b or two or whatever numbering system i just used that i already forgot because i'm babbling um the other reason is just you know i, I kind of want i want to hit that nice medium between stylized and real because I, I don't want it to be too simple because then i don't know people will doubt my abilities that's not a, that's not true. Anyway, not the point. Uh, great skin chart. Um, I use it all the time. I swear I'm not drunk. That's literally like the second or third sip of wine I've taken. This is my first glass, so uh, please don't think I'm some sort of alcoholic. <laughs> um. Anywho, let's. I'm gonna arrange this workspace. Can you guys even see this? I just want to make sure. I've never done this before. What happens when I arrange my workspaces? Oh my god, I am so white. <laughs> I'm so pale. <laughs> um, I know I need to get better lighting. My lighting situation is uh, subpar. But you know what? We're working on it. We are working on it. Um, yeah, so I go to window. I don't know if you guys... I mean, I'm sure you guys know how to do... Well, if you don't, fun Photoshop tip. You go to workspace... No, you go to arrange and you can choose different options. And I like to do two up vertical, but I like to do it the other way where it's on the other side because I'm very particular about which is on which side. And I probably am going to, there we go. There we go. So can you see that? Yes. Yeah, so I've got like skin on one side, painting on the other. I've got my glove on, by the way. Um, it's kind of hard to see because the color, it's, it's supposed to be, it's like a pale pink, but the way that the lighting is, you can't really tell. Anyway, I've got, got a glove on because Cintiqs are like a screen it's a screen so let me just scooch up because i am kind of far away <laughs> struggling i'm struggling um 
Did you guys hear my jingling kitty cat? Her, her little collar has a bell on it. I hear her jingling behind me. It's very dark in my apartment right now, but it's fine. Anywho, back to the painting. Um, where was I? Okay, so I've got like some shadows going on here. Yeah, I think I will continue with that. So, um, okay, yeah. I think I will just select this color and then what I really like about this too is you can really bounce between the two um, and I can even kind of minimize it and just get to the color that I, I want because obviously homegirl homegirls pale like me <laughs> we white white as a ghost if we were any whiter we would be transparent am I even on the right layer nope of course I'm not on the what even what, what layer is this I need to name my layers better Ah, that is the clothes. That is not, okay. Yeah, let's go here. Clipping masks. Um, you guys will see me use clipping masks a lot. <sighs> um, you can like select the layer and do, I know people using Procreate kind of do that. Um, that doesn't work very well for me. Uh, I like clipping masks because they actually, um, they just, they lock it to the layer below it so that because like when you get a selection it almost like there's like a line of pixels around it that doesn't get selected it like goes in one and of course you can change your threshold but like clipping mask it does it exactly to like to the pixel like everything so you don't have to worry also you can like just it, it works the same way essentially but it, it's an, it's a lot cleaner um it's also not as destructive um, it's kind of a way of working non-destructively, so if you, you can go back and like turn them off or fix them or you know what have you. Um, my hand looks better there. It seems to. I'm sorry, I'm gonna zoom in and out a lot. That's how I draw. I just want to make sure that everything's um everything's a Gucci. So let's fix this. Uh, I need. I am on multiply brush mode right now. Let's, no, what did I just do? Okay, so the funny thing about this is, no, that's not it either. Alt, where's my, there we go. <laughs> um, so at work, I actually use, um, I actually use a Mac at work. Uh, that's just, that's what they gave us at work. Um, so I have to, when I like go from drawing at work to drawing at home, which I don't really draw at work. I, I'm a graphic designer, so I, well, actually, I'm mostly a pre-press tech because, well, I do both. I do both, but um, anyway, use a Mac at work, so I have to, like, constantly switch between, like, what hotkeys are which. Well, they're pretty intuitive, but, like, sometimes it just gets really aggravating. Um, okay, let's, her hand is just atrocious atrocious I sing a lot um so if you're gonna be watching me at all y'all better get used to that because I am a singer um I like to make up my own songs sometimes it's like a nervous tick honestly <laughs> I do it because um it's like my way of babbling you feel you feel me so I'm kind of what I'm doing is I'm, I'm hitting the alt key, which is, it pulls up the eyedropper and I'm sampling the colors. And basically it's like pulling from around it. So I'm not, I kind of like, that's how I kind of blend. Um, I've actually started using the smudge tool a little bit more often. I, for the longest time um, in college, I had a professor that would like never use the smudge tool. It's an amateur's tool and yada yada. So it doesn't work unless you have, and it's just, I'm like, I'm learning recently that I'm having to unlearn some of the things I learned in art school in college. Uh, the smudge tool is wonderful and um, don't let anybody tell you what kind of tools you can and can't use. I mean obviously there are ways to do things where like some tools are better than others and you know, um, okay why didn't that, what am I missing here? Wait a, wait a minute, hold on a diddly darn second, wait why is that? I guess I can blend that a little bit better. Anyway, yeah, like, 
don't let any art professor just try to tell you what tools you can and can't use, what tools aren't allowed, because truly, 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 any tool can be used if you want. Because they all, they're, they're there for a reason. Like Photoshop, Adobe put them in there because they're, you know, the whole point is to get creative with them. That's the whole point. Let's make our hair just super dark. How about I do that? I'll make it super dark and we'll get through the lines and shaded fingers on the um, obviously it seems like I'm missing some. I feel like I should probably You'll probably see me um <laughs> look down at my hand a lot, which is my keyboard, because um I failed to account for the fact that I was cheap and I didn't buy a backlit keyboard. And um, <laughs> now I'm really paying the price for it because <laughs> it is so hard to see what I'm doing sometimes. Um, especially like, oh, that's a bad one right there. Um, it's really hard to see what I'm doing sometimes when the lights are off and like, especially like if I'm playing a video game, like I want to I want to look down at my, like I'm missing buttons or, you know, what have you, and then I, I can't see, and I end up losing whatever I was just doing. No, not the flow, the opacity. Flow can be a hundred. Why do you do, ooh, what did I just do? What did I do? Whoa, how did that happen? Rude computer, how dare you? Oh, oh, are we back? Ah, we back, yay. Okay, oh, this is, this is a lot. This is, uh, wow, 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 <laughs> wow. Um, anywho, anywho, anywho. Wow, 17 minutes have already passed, damn. I am nervous. I'm going to change my opacity down to 45. That's not, you know, whatever. 54 works too. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to keep working with the hand stuff until I get it right, which will probably be never, and I'll probably have to stop the stream and come back to it a different day uh, because I can't draw hands to save my life. I literally could be dying. I could be dangling over a vat of acid and they could be like, draw a hand, draw a hand and you will be freed. And I'd be like, bruh, just go ahead and lower me because it's not going to happen. <laughs> It'll tr I'll try, but uh, bruh. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes my brushes pop up because I'm the pen, I'm, I accidentally click it sometimes. Oh, by the way, I'm left-handed if you haven't picked up on that yet. I am a lefty which was a problem in school because I always had to sit in a desk that was right-handed and that was aggravating, probably for me and others, others like me. All right, all right, this is, this is starting to come together a little bit. This is, this is, this is working, this is working. We working, we twerking. We, we're putting our thing down, flipping it and reversing it. It is, it is a thing that is happening. Ooh, yes, those nice crisp lines. Mmm, yummy, yummy crisp lines. <laughs> God, I am very weird. Okay. Well, you know what? If you came here, this is what you sign up for. You, you sign up for weirdness. <laughs> that me, that me. Casual Junko posing. Um, you probably noticed on my overlay that I have my TikTok logo. Well, not my TikTok logo, but a TikTok logo. And, um... You can follow me on any of those social medias uh, down there. Um, I didn't, it's, it's, I'm pretty much breezel bit on everything. So, you know, whatever the naming convention is for like, you know, Twitter and Instagram is an at breezel bit. Uh, TikTok is at breezel bit. ArtStation is slash breezel bit. Kind of like how Twitch is dot TV slash. So, um, yeah, y'all probably know the uh, naming conventions. You guys are internet users as well. We all children of the intranets. You feel? Ooh, what did I just do? Not that. No thing. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do either. 
We moving. It's sliding around on me. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Oh, yes. Get that nice smooth shadow. See, why did my professor ever tell me not to use the smudge tool? Like, look at this. Look at beautiful. 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 Got them thighs. Them th perf. Perf. Like, I mean, I shouldn't say perf. That's kind of conceited. But, like, you know what I mean. It's so much smoother. And, like, mm, yes, drag it down. Give that, give that calf some definition. Ugh, I just, I don't understand why he was so against the smudge tool. Probably because he didn't know how to use it. Well, whatever. He can be that way. He was a jerk. Um. Oh, yeah, she pale. She pale. Uh, her face is looking a little rough, too. Let's, let's round out those cheeks there. That's a little better. Smooth it out, smooth it out. Um. Oh, I should get into her eyes and whatever. I should, you know what? I need to do some highlights. That'll, one of the things that I learned that I really liked, that it was like a good tactic, was switching between like your darkest darks and your whitest whites. So like, you kind of like go from one end of the spectrum to the other, and then you can kind of bounce between colors as you blend and get to the middle. And like, it, it just gives you a nice value, range value, value of ranges, ranges of values. It also just helps keep break up your mind. Like it, you know, sometimes I can't tell, like, am I even shading the right place? Like, or mm, am I just blending too much? Cause there is such a thing as over blending and I'm certainly guilty of it. But, um, yeah, just, uh, if you throw some highlights in there, if you really like really throw them in there, really define your highlights, get some nice, put some nice crisp lines up against the dark ones and they really start to take shape. Um, and her fingers are definitely like this because uh, I hate drawing hands. My friend, I have a friend named Kyle. Kyle is amazing at drawing hands. And it's like every artist has that thing that they just like really like to draw. It's the thing that like when they just, when they have a piece of paper or when they have something in front of them that they can just like doodle on, that's the thing that they doodle. His thing is hands, which like, <laughs> LOL cannot relate um my thing is eyes I always just j couldn't tell you why it's not that I'm like oh my god eyes are amazing but like I think ever since I really started learning to draw like even when in, I was in middle school and I went through my like my like hardcore anime phase which lol still a weeb but like you know I'm reclaiming my weebdom because I got it got bullied out of me and whatever whatever anyway um yeah, when I was like really drawing anime fan art in middle school and uh stuff and you know stuff like that, I, I would always do the eyes. It was always the eyes that I wanted to like learn and focus on and probably should have been focusing on other stuff like, you know, general anatomy and shading and things, but I learned that stuff later. I mean, you know. <laughs> but yeah, my friend Kyle, he can draw hands like nobody's business, but <laughs> I can't. I just, ah, they, they confuse me. They confound me. They confound me so. Like, I understand they're segmented. They've got, like, the knuckles. They've got, like, I, I get the anatomy. Like, I've definitely studied the anatomy of them. And, like, logically in my brain, I know it's, I mean, obviously, I have them. Like, I, it's not like I've never seen a hand before. I've seen many different hands in my lifetime. But, like, they just... I can't get my hands to draw hands. <laughs> you feel? It's a, uh, it's a struggle. But we make it through. We make it through. Uh, just gotta give her some of that highlight. God, her hand just looks. Uh, it's terrible. It's just terrible. I want to just like I want to redraw her where her hand isn't being shown because. It just is so bad. Um, oh, let's let's smudge it a little. Let's smudge it just a tidbit, or just a little bit. Boop 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 boop. Oh my gosh! Funny story about that song. Um, there is the actual line of just a little bit. For the longest time, my boyfriend did not think that that was the line. I had to convince him. We had to. I had to look it up and be like, I swear. He says that. He didn't believe me. Just a little bit. Do, 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 do. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. No, 
we're only gonna learn some more definition on the other side. You know, kind of give them, give our fingers the look of being round-ish. <laughs> oh my god, I can't draw hands to save my life. I've already said that a thousand times. People are probably already getting so sick of me. But that is okay, because I'm here, and I'm drawing, and I'm singing, and I'm going to erase. I'm going to go down to the bottom and do it. This is the other thing about clipping masks. If you erase the bottom part that it's based in, it erases everything above it as well. Which is very useful when you are like me, and every hand you draw is a piece of garbage. <laughs> then you can just, you don't have to go through your layers and, you know. And then if you want to draw it back in, like if I wanted to add that, that bit that I just erased back in, um, it will add everything above it back too. So um, clipping masks. Use your clipping masks. They're very useful. Very useful indeed. Uh, sorry if I'm being a little too quiet right here. I just This is very small and I want... Oh, it's getting toasty in here. So warm. I'm gonna turn it. Maybe it's the wine. Maybe it's the, that's why I'm toasty. It's the wine. Okay. Okay. That looks a little better. Maybe it's just because like the fact that her skin is shaded and her clothes are so not. I haven't even started. I haven't even started doing um Dario shading. I've pretty much been focused on Lily. Um, this is probably gonna take me a while. My goal was to get this finished um, by the end of January, which is still possible. Um, I still want to. I'm definitely going to be streaming next Sunday, so if y'all want to catch me next Sunday, that's a thing. I'll get into the ear. I need to add some highlights to the ear as well, it would seem. This ear is lacking. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I won't do that. Um, God, terrible. I'm definitely, I'm definitely in that phase where you have to like continuously tell yourself trust the process, trust the process, because I think it is <laughs> terrible, and I don't like my art. But I know that once I'm done with it, I'll be like, you know, that was pretty decent. Like I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but you know, you are your worst your worst enemy, your own worst enemy, and, and et cetera. Okay, so, um, you know what, I probably should add some purple to her. And like, you know what, I'm gonna vary a little bit from this. I'm gonna do like a dark grayish purple. I'm gonna crank the opacity down to 30 though. I'm gonna be real delicate with this process. Um, I just wanna give her some of that under eye is uh, homegirl is sleep deprived, I'm making her look spooky, scary, and depressed. You know, like any gothic college kid. You feel like any goth college kid. Um, I just want to pick one of this as well. Yes, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Okay, I should probably transfer some of that over here too. I want that like really pallid. Yeah. Ooh, that is that is the stuff. That is the stuff right there. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Yes. We're adding some some blue to her. Ooh. Ooh. I like how that looks. Mmm. I'm already getting prouder. Look at that. Prouder by the minute. Okay. I think I should give her some eyelashes because she's looking a little uh lopsided. I guess. All right. We'll work on it. Um. Let's go for, we'll go for black, but then we'll go just like a hair up. Yeah, that's probably good. I'm gonna add another clipping mask, um, just so I can kind of separate the layers. I'm gonna crank it back up to 50% opacity. And I'm gonna go way down in brush size. Cause your eyes are so tiny. You know what? I might crank it up a little more. We'll do 85 opacity. I don't want to do like a hundred. I just, I can't, I don't want that. That's, that's, a, that's a scary decision to make. Um, yeah, let's darken her eyes. Oh, 
I also had, you know what, work on what you want to work on. There's definitely, it's, it's a good strategy when drawing and painting and, you know, to work macro to micro, do the big stuff first and then work your way down to the details. But like, you know, sometimes you just want to really get in there and do eyelashes. And you know what, homegirl, give yourself a break from doing like the broad, wide swaths of stuff and do the freaking eyelashes. Again, don't let art professors just tell you exactly how to do everything. You will find a process that works for you. Like, there are so many really great digital painters that I've seen. They just, they do what they do. Like, stuff that would... I'm sorry, I just spat. <laughs> mm, gross. Um, literally, I've seen them do things that I tried to do in class. I ended up getting in trouble. Not really in trouble, but I got like a... That's not what it looks like. And you, why are you worried about that when you should be worried about this? And obviously, yes, there's like an element of your learning. Like you have to learn how to do this stuff first before you like, I get it. I get it. But like, also I, I'm literally working so hard to try to like, I, I hear the alarm bells going on my head. Like you're not supposed to use that tool or that color is that that's not allowed. Why is it not allowed? Who set the rules? <laughs> arbitrary. They're arbitrary. Let's see. I want to get in her lips. Her lipstick. That nice gothic dark. Ooh, yes, baby girl. Mm. Slay. Always make your upper lip darker than your bottom. I mean, they're the same color, yes, but, like, the light hits. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to crank my opacity back down. We're going to start sampling some of this. Let me add some dark stuff. Just a smidgen. This lip color is difficult. I've actually, I don't think I've ever actually drawn somebody with this lip color. It's a little tricky. Add some shine. Let's add some shine to those lips. Oh, maybe I should have a bigger brush than one pixel size. Nope, that looks dumb. Let's take that out. What? Okay. Maybe we'll do a screen. That's better. That's a little better. Yeah. Okay, that works. That works. Alrighty. Um, hmm. I would like to do some more definition on her nose, for sure. Because, oops, I did not mean to do that. Some girl doesn't have, like, a sharp nose, but, you know, I don't want her to have, like, a mush nose either. What, what brush am I using? It should be this one. Why is it... Thirty-seven one. No, you know what? Fifty. Fifty. And make it smaller. Really? Okay. Make. Bruh. <laughs> make it smaller. Thank you. Jeez. Wouldn't let me. Oh God, no. Let's not do that. That's probably a little too bright. Probably a little bit too bright. But we'll fix it. We'll make it a little easier. Ugh, skin is just... I'm probably going to spend forever on skin, I swear. I just always do. I'm 
I'm so self-conscious. Like, I swear, it just... Like, does it look right? I can't tell. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I gotta move on. I gotta move on to something else before it drives me crazy. Because it will, it will drive me crazy if I don't. Um... Ooh, you know what? I was wearing... Wearing. <laughs> I had a blanket with me. I'm trying not to shake my camera too much. You know what? I have some water. We should get some water. Ooh, give me just a minute. All right. Water. Water, water, water. Ooh. Ice water. Cold ice water. Okay, you know what? Let's do the clothes. I think it's time. I think it's time to do her clothes. She's wearing like this um, vest thingy over um, like a dress in this one. Um, I think I originally designed her with a different, a different one. But uh, All right, so I'm gonna go for the shadows first. Um, so I'm gonna take this color. Let, you know what, we'll start with that color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my blending mode to multiply on my brush and keep the opacity at 50. That's usually where I start. Um, big brush just um, kinda, and it'll kinda darken itself um, with that color. So it'll just layer it on. This is going to get a little tricky, too, because she does wear so much black and dark colors. Um, I think I'll line out again. And actually, no, I'm going to put it back in first just to get these, uh, just to get these lines in. Just so I know where uh, one thing ends and one the other begins, because if I don't, we're going to run into some issues here. Um, and this, here's the thing, too, like, when I draw up, it'll, uh, since I'm sampling this lighter color, it, it goes on lighter. Why am I giving you guys tutorials? I should just, y'all probably already know all this stuff. I'm just, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to draw these lines in just for my own reference. You guys can see I managed to hide her other hand because I'm so self-conscious about her first one. So that's the thing. Okay, I'm going to take these away and I have a general idea of where certain shapes end and begin. Um, all right. Now that I have that in place, I can start um, kind of really, oh, you know what? I should do the, these as well. to get stuff in place. All right, all righty. So now that I have like a dark color, I can just set it back to normal. Um, and I can really just go, go ham, go hot in the paint. Um, let me clean that back in. Ooh, oh, it's always hard. Edges are always hard. Just gotta. You want some hard lines. You want some hard lines so you can indicate where the shadows are. I thought about playing music for this stream. I did, but I was like so worried that Spotify or um, Twitch was gonna slam me for like copyright. I mean, if you guys want me to play music in the future, I can see what I can do. Um, I wouldn't mind. I like to listen to music when I draw usually, so. I'm not opposed. You know what? That's what I should do. I should light. I should add a light to that. Yeah, I should add a lighter color to this. So that way you can tell where the sailor is. Uh huh. Where's her hair? Because it does. It does kind of come forward anyway. The other thing is you can change it to screen, and you can do the same type of. Uh, wide swath painting but you can do it in reverse so like this is I 
I'm painting a lighter color of this. So it'll add highlights. And this is a good way to get like your range of colors. So obviously that looks really rough, but again, um, oh, and her boots, I better do her boots too. She's got some uh, cool platform combat type boots that I really dig and I would totally wear if I had them. I do have some like big combat boots like that, but oops, bring it back to normal. Ooh, not color burn, normal. Bring it back to normal so you can just take the color. Okay, and now I need to crank my opacity down to 50 because I think 80 is a little too high. Um, it's a little too opaque for me. So we can start blending a little better. I do want to keep the stuff on her shoes a little hard, um, and I will go back and add highlights and stuff because they're supposed to be like, like a, a patent leather kind of deal. That's the other thing. Like light is so indicative of of what kind of material you're wearing and what kind of material you're dealing with. It's so weird. I encourage you guys to try it yourself and look up and. I am so sidetracked. What was I even talking? Oh, Spotify and music. Um, I'd love to play some music while I draw. I usually listen to music or podcasts. I definitely love podcasts. I'm definitely a podcast person. Um, I just don't want to get in trouble. I certainly don't want to like, I don't want to steal any other artist's work. Like I, I get it. I am an artist. So having your work stolen sucks. Oh my God. Speaking of getting your work stolen, that whole Aaron Carter situation blew my mind like why did he have to be so rude to the artist like he could have he so could have handled that better and the artist like I'm so glad that everybody's like kind of rallying around the artist because it's so needed this happens way too often celebrities will just get away with that it's so it's so unfortunate don't steal art <laughs> the moral of the story Oh God, my sinuses are bothering me. I'm sorry, I'm just like sniffling and stuff. I don't know where any of you guys might be from, but I am from the United States and where I'm from, it is really cold outside. And so obviously we compensate by making it much warmer in our apartment. I'm gonna try to get some shadows in the back. Ooh, it's coming together. It's coming together, giving it some definition. Oh, I'm just gonna make her necklace darker. And then I'm just gonna add back in here. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's happening, slowly but surely it's happening. I might actually go in and like find a texture and overlay it onto her her uh, shirt dress thing, um, just to give it like maybe like a kind of a tweed or something and just kind of overlay the pattern that way I wouldn't have to paint it in. Perks of being a digital artist, sometimes you can sidestep some of the work if you want. I mean, obviously, if you want to paint stuff in like that on your own art, like, feel free. More power to you. Everybody has a different method. But, I mean, we do have an advantage as a digital medium to kind of use different, different tactics than our more traditional artist fellows. So, perks, 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 perks. That is way, way too light. I need to darken that for sure, for sure, for sure. I feel like I have not accomplished really anything in the 45 minutes or so that I have been streaming. I feel kind of guilty. I feel kind of guilty. Maybe I should watch it back and then I'll see what progress I've made. I, I'm so, I'm such a critic. I'm such a critic. Ah. But this is fun. I really do like drawing on stream. This is definitely a, a motivating, a motivating kind of thing. I feel, I don't know. I feel like this will definitely motivate me to draw more. I've been meaning to draw more. That's kind of been one of my goals for 2020. I know New Year's resolutions and such are kind of lame and overrated and usually they don't work, but you know, if I don't call it one of, if I don't call it that, maybe it'll work. <laughs> um, but no, truly I did have a goal that I, I just wanted to draw more. Um, wanted to get some get some drawing done this year I, everybody has like one of those like my yearly art and like they they have like all these pieces that they can plug into the chart of with all the months and then I'm just over here like wow I actually took 
three months to draw this one thing because I was being lazy or I got nervous and like I I have like I have that kind of art block like when I have art block it's not necessarily that I lack ideas and it's not even really that I lack motivation it's that I get so scared especially by like a blank canvas like it's just so much pressure that I like oh my gosh what do I do but you know I just sometimes I really just need to sit down sit my ass down and do it just fucking do it <laughs> Oops, cursing on stream, but hey, that's why I said the restriction, whatever. Y'all know the setting. <laughs> mm, that's so good. I love wine. I love wine. I'm drinking a very cheap, but very good, because you know what? Cheap does not ne necessarily mean it is bad wine. Um... And I am still of the age where I can handle having some cheap alcohol every now and again. And it won't make me feel like I want to die. Um, I dread that day. I really do. I know it's inevitable, but I dread it. Um, I'm drinking a very cheap, but very good Pinot Noir. Because I am a red wine drinker. I've definitely graduated from the, the uh, lighter wines. I used to drink white Zinfandel, which is like a pink rosé style of wine. That was like my wine of choice. And now I feel like I couldn't do it. I think it might have too much sugar in it. Just, ooh. Moscato, I really can't. That was, I mean, obviously that was the starting point. Like, that's kind of where everybody starts off. Other Or like wine coolers. Mm-mm, cannot do Moscato anymore. It makes me so sick. Oh my god. It's so sugary. It's so sugary. It like melts my brain um oh god okay this is i feel like i've just been like shoving well actually when i zoom out that doesn't look too good <laughs> okay <laughs> i just gotta stick with it i just gotta stick with it oh trust the process trust the process i just go through this period of i hate this 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 and then okay <laughs> i see you we working we trying Trying. Heard some noises outside my apartment. <laughs> not like a scary. Well, hopefully not scary. Just some, just some probably noisy neighbors. We have these neighbors that like are really into cars. I see them out there. They have like some crazy mods on their cars. Like this one has like his wheels are like tilted to the side, and like his rims are like that kind of oil slick holographic thing you know what i'm talking about i'm probably not describing it very well they also have like instagram handles specifically for their cars and they have like decals on their cars that advertise the car instagram i mean everybody's entitled to their interests like you know i'm a nerd too i'm just a nerd of a different brand <laughs> basically um but yeah it, it was interesting this was they, they do some interesting stuff They've got their car buddies that come over, too. It's kind of funny to see them all hanging out. I wonder if they realize that they're nerds. I wonder if they're like, oh, okay, yeah, like, I'm nerdy, but I'm nerdy in, like, a automotive kind of way, not, like, a anime kind of way. Or maybe they're both. Who knows? I'm still trying to figure out which apartment has the Wi-Fi that is labeled LeBlanc ca Coffee or LeBlanc Cafe or something. Something like that. Something LeBlanc. And I was like, that's got... That's got to be a Persona 5 reference, for sure. I don't see why it would be anything else. Alright, my goal for this stream is to get the clothes, like, done. I want to get her dress, like, you know what, I should crank this up a little bit. I need to cover a little more ground with this, uh, this, like, mid-tone gray that I placed on her skirt. I'll go back and do like the folds of her skirt. It's definitely starting to take more shape now that I've added some shading. You know, it looks more like it's supposed to be a certain way and not, you know, just her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not just like her skin is shaded. You know, I 
I said I wanted to be a concept artist. I do. And I know that concept artists, do, they don't have to, like, get this far into detail. Like, they usually just do flat color. Just just enough to indicate. Like, the whole, the whole point is to get the idea across, not necessarily make the most beautiful painting in the entire universe. But, you know, I guess this is more of a personal thing. I just really wanted to draw our characters and have make a little thing for my my boyfriend and myself because it's fun it's like a fun little fun little game it's a fun little role-playing game that we have <laughs> i have no idea what my neighbors are saying They're like oh wow i don't know what they doing You know what? Now might be a good time to break out the smudge tool that I'm supposedly not allowed to use. LOL! Mm, look at it. So smooth. So smooth. So nice. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Perf. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. I might use a little sheer as well. Ooh, yes. Look how smooth it is. I like, I like, I like, I like. Okay. Yes, making it nice and crisp. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I think I should add some more darts. Some more. Sh Ooh, that is not what I meant to do. I meant to go back to the brush and then do the multiply thing. Not whatever the hell I just did. I'm gonna do this first. All right. And then we go on back and we added crisp, crisp lines. Really get in there. Uh oh, I hear some sirens. I hope everybody's okay. Yeah. Just some nice subtle lines. Line's fine where it, where it is. It just needs more highlight later, which I will do in a minute. In just a minute. Unless my kitty cat sneezed. God, I hate her. I'd like to also play some video games on this this uh this channel. I don't want it to just be exclusively art. I want to do um I'd like to do some and I would you know, I'd also like to do some cosplay on this app. I do a lot of cosplay on TikTok. I'd like to do like a stream of me like drawing in cosplay or like me playing games in cosplay. So, definitely a dream for this channel. And this is just the start. It's my first stream. It's my first ever real stream. Like I have finally got to a place in my life where my Wi-Fi is good enough, my computer is good enough, and I have like a microphone and camera and stuff. And you know, I'm still new. I'm still learning the layouts of like Twitch and Streamlabs and all that jazz. But with time and trial and error will come experience. And I'm just really excited to be here. So hopefully you guys are excited to be here with me too. Hope I, uh, hope I do not disappoint, because I hate that. I hate doing that. Hmm, okay. Highlight time. Screen. And now we do the opposite. Boop, 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 boop. 
You know what? I am going to listen to some music myself. Um, sorry, y'all. No copyright stuff for you, but I will be listening to music. Um, I'll tell you what I'm listening to if you guys want to, on your own time, find your artists and stream them or buy their stuff. But, uh, anywho. Let's see. What do I want to play? Okay. Uh... Ooh, I like this. This is kind of lo-fi. What I am listening to now, uh, No Se by, uh, no, No Se featuring, um, Girl Ultra by Zimena Sarignana. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I like listening to Spanish music, so. Um. And you know what? Nobody can judge me for that. A lot of people like listening to Korean music or, or, uh, Japanese music. So I am definitely well within my rights to listen to Spanish music and be just as much of a fan. So that is that on that. You know, actually also me play, not playing Spotify music um, on Twitch is probably a blessing in disguise for you guys because I have a very eclectic music taste. Um, I'm sure I would annoy the living crap out of some people. They'd be like, how, how do you go from, like, borderline metal video game soundtracks to the most peppy, poppy show tunes from the latest Tony nominee? Like, what? How, how is that? And I'd just be like, that me, though. <laughs> that me. No sé. No sé. This is a good one. It's a bop. It's a bop. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This. Okay. Yeah. It's li it's looking like a it's looking like a dress. Right. It's looking like a dress. Right. <laughs> I hope I'm not, I haven't been staring at this so long that I can't tell. Okay. I'm pretty proud of the cl the folds on her shirt. I wanted to make her, like, really skinny. I wanted to make it look like she was skin and bones because, you know, she's kind of ghostly. I feel like I – kind of what I was going for. Uh, all right. I always forget to change my brush back to the right blending mode. <laughs> no say, no say. I messed up her necklace. <laughs> Oops. I want to give it that definition. Yeah, that works. Okay, now for her. Well, actually, I think I need to revisit the skirt just for a minute. Just for a minute. Ooh, some Lady Gaga is playing now. But I think I'm going to pass up on that. Mm -hmm. Nope. Maybe you don't. That'll, that'll work. Dun, 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 dun. Come home. It's Mika, by the way. This is um, Celebrate by Mika featuring Pharrell Williams, another bop. It's kind of an older one, but um, my friend Macy introduced me to Mika a long time ago, and, well, I've never gone back, so. 
Nika is amazing. So I owe her for that. She's a music teacher now, too. So, like, you can trust her music taste for sure. <laughs> she teaches all about the music. She knows her shit. I tend to gravitate towards musicians. I tend to gravitate towards musicians, I found. Kind of realized that. Um, a lot of my friends are in band and choir, and a lot of my friends play like they, I have a friend Ashley, or I have a friend Ashley. I shouldn't say had. <laughs> I have a friend Ashley. She played guitar for a while. I don't know if she still plays. I know her husband does. I wonder if they ever play together. But anyway, my boyfriend's a musician. I'm kind of a musician. I mean, I sing. I play a little bit of piano. I just dabble. I took lessons when I was, like, really little, but it was never something I, like, really got passionate about. I was passionate about other things. But I did learn some stuff, and I – actually, you know, I survived my whole high school career quite – uh, well, chorus in middle – elementary middle without ever really learning how to read music besides, like, a, a very basic understanding. Like, I knew – what notes are and like I knew I knew kind of how to tell and but like if you ask me to straight up like find a pitch and sight read stuff I still struggle I know that made some people mad but anywho Ugh, I'm having some trouble here. I just, I can't tell what I want to do. Ugh, I think I'm falling into the, okay, shoe time. I think I'm falling into the, uh, the, uh, um, over-blending death pit. <laughs> Where I just blend and blend until it's the same. <laughs> Which defeats the purpose of defining it in the first place. Okay. So what I want to do with her boots if I want, I need to print this out So I want this nice mid-tone. I do want some definition, obviously, to make it look round. Um, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some really hard highlights to make it look leathery. And like, silk, not silky, but um, plasticky almost. Plasticky? Is that even a word? Whatever. I said it, so I guess it is. Not like a dictionary word, but. Gosh, I'm so thirsty. I think I'm dehydrated. I probably shouldn't be drinking wine if I'm dehydrated, but whatever. This tastes good. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't be just gulping water on stream. It's probably not very entertaining. <laughs> oh, well, though, I'm thirsty. is this? Nope. 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 Nah. Nah, no, me, no, me, no. Nope. You know what? All right, I'm going to my playlist. <sighs> Let's do 80s jams. Why not? Jitterbug. <clears throat> Okay, what the hell? Bruh! It's like giving me an error sound. Like, it wouldn't let me zoom. Oh no, I'm going back to the dress! Ooh. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> okay, let's do the darkest lines first. I was dreaming about a shit, bury you instead. You wake me up before you go, go. Leave me hanging on like a yo yo. Wake me up. Before you go, go, don't want to miss it when you hit that high. Wake me up before you go, go. 
This song is a classic. Truly, it is a classic, and I love this song. Take me standing in line. I want to hit that high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am really extra, so don't make fun of me for singing and being all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. When you act so cool, baby, let's not fight. We'll go dancing, everything will be all right. Wake me up. Oh, you know what? I think I should do these on a different layer just in case. So I'm going to make another clipping mask layer. That way I'll just be able to go back. Before you go, go. I'm not planning on going slow, go. Wake me up before you go, go. Take me dancing at night. Hit the high. Oh my god, what was I doing with my line art right here? What the fuck, what the fuck was I doing? See, this is why I hate, I hate line art. Cool and tight, dancing in the night, cold out there but it's warm in bed. We'll stay home instead. Do the bug. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much. It makes me giggle. Okay, I just need. I'm doing this right now just so I can get the general shape of the shoe because I honest, I honestly don't know what the fuck I was doing. It's probably just like all over the place when I first drew this. Just trying to get the general shape of the. Perspective is hard, yo. Oh gosh, I feel like I keep hitting stuff behind me, but it's probably just my cat. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. That song really just makes you want to get up and dance. For sure, for sure. And I am not afraid to bust a move. I wholeheartedly believe in the mantra, dance like nobody is watching. You know what? Everybody, everybody's like, oh, I can never do that. But I'm like, bro, nobody cares. And if they do, then fuck them. Because they're really just trying to piss on your campfire. If they try to judge you for how you dance. Dancing is so supposed to be about fun and like moving. Oh, good lord. What the hell did I just... Well, I don't want to do that. I can fix it. Hella platforms. Shoes I wish I could wear. I don't own any, though. Was not the right words, but I don't care. Come on with me. Beep. Banner, banner. <laughs> this one is uh, Valerie by Steve Winwood. Another good one. This is hard. I like 
I want to blend, but, like, I also know that, like, I need, I need lines to tell people what's happening with her freaking shoe. I'm so scared that I, like, don't know how to do anything. Why am I even an artist? <laughs> That's not too bad. Symbol is a bee. Okay. <laughs> this part of the song sent. I'm sorry, like, I know you guys can't hear it, but, like, this part of the song that I'm listening to kind of sounds like a K.K. Slider song from Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's probably just because it's one of those, like, digital instruments. But it, it makes me giggle, so... Okay, it's starting to look like an actual painting now, I think. It's coming together. Obviously, I'm going to go back and add some more highlights because... Those boots are not going to cut it. They look just like mush, really. <laughs> All right. It's highlight time, friends. Let's fix that. I'm erasing these. Nope. Well, those can stay. I'll take those. Same boy is a bee. Nope, that's not gonna work. Maybe I'll add some like folds to it and that might like oh I hear a jingle jangle from my kitty kitty where's she at where's she at come here Midna I don't know where you are but you're somewhere behind me I hear you and if you caught that, yes, my cat's name is in fact Midna. She is named after the Twilight Princess because Midna is one of my favorite characters. And also, Twilight Princess is one of my favorite games. Yeah, I said what I said. Come at me. That's a hill I will die on. Not my favorite Zelda of all time, but it's definitely a top choice. And again, yes, I said what I said. Come and fight me. <laughs> belong to the thunder we belong <laughs> belong together a sense of better we belong you know what I'm gonna do it because I feel like it's wrong See, that makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you. Words 
myself a better living life. Yeah, some nice harsh light to make it look leathery. A leathery. Thriller. All right, now we temper it with some super dark, dark black. just a smidgen back of here because I don't think she's balanced. <laughs> I don't want her falling over. It's close to midnight. Something. Oh my gosh, funny story about this song. So there was this competition in high school called the Glee Off. <laughs> And yes, it's, it is about, it was based on Glee and it was just, we did this um, competition where we had to like make a music video and then there was this competition that we actually went to that was a stage performance and um, it was like, it, I think it only went on for two years or at least it only went two years where we competed, but the first year we did it, we went like all out. Like we were, we were going up against like choirs and like choir departments and um you know other like kind of glee clubs but not really it was more just like choir departments at other schools but we were the theater class so we were like okay well we should make this entertaining this should be like glee club is glee club in the show is like show tunes and stuff it's like it's not just singing it's it's musical performances and everything that goes along with that so we like created this whole storyline that was like a weird science parody and we had um had them like had these uh nerdy nerdy boys create their prom dates and what happened in the story was that they tried to um create their own prom dates using the weird science but what happened was they accidentally brought all these dead prom queens back from the dead so it was zombie prom <laughs> so we had like a bunch of us girls dress up we did like makeup like really gross like prosthetic stuff that was peeling the white face paint with like the black circles around our eyes we ripped up a bunch of old prom dresses that we had thrifted or that we had we put like fake blood on them and we came up with this whole thing and like different movements and thriller was like the opening movement because obviously it was all these prom queens coming back to life but then it like it mashed up because glee was famous for its uh, original mashups um, and we mashed it up with like true colors and I think something else um, but god every single time I hear a thrill it was the thriller heads will roll mashup that's what it was we did that song from Glee but then we also threw in like a the moral of the story and they realized oh you know what I'll take a zombie girl to prom like fine I'll give her a chance like you know being different is not that bad even if you're dead i don't know what the moral of our story was but um yeah then we did like true colors by cindy lauper it was really weird when i think about it now but like at the time i was just like oh yeah like we're in theater this is just like what we do but you know i really find it it's a fond memory i think it's probably still on the internet somewhere you can probably see me uh really really getting it to thriller um my friend Elena had a solo in the in the song. Man. What great memories. <laughs> Holy crap. That yeah. 
this the song thriller it just brought back brought back some memories we um oh by the way that competition we fucking swept the floor because like it was so funny when we got there we had like all our makeup done and everything because we really didn't have a lot of time to uh prepare we were walking in and we had there was like these dance groups and these choir groups and they're all in their like pretty makeup like fake eyelashes like makeup fully done hair curled and sparkly drowns dresses sparkly dresses and gowns their nice choir stuff and uh the, the guys had like cummerbunds and stuff meanwhile we come freaking walking through the door and we look like well, we look like Night of the Living Dead. Like, duh. We are dressed as zombies. We look like we're fucking crazy. Oh, God. The look. I still remember getting looks in the hallway just like. Like, they were all the, the white guy. The white guy blinking meme. Just. <laughs> um, yeah. And we fucking dominated that competition. Like, they had no chance. Because we were easily the most interesting performance that night. The judges were blown away. We won some money for it. Which uh, went to our drama department, but anyway, I think about that every single time I hear this song. The evil of the thriller. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Man. What a weird song. <laughs> what a weird song and a weird music video. Nothing can be as weird as that fucking video from Yummy. The Yummy whatever. That was dumb. That was a dumb music video. That was dumb. This mu listen, listening to this 80s music playlist is making me want to, like, watch an 80s movie. <laughs> I might do that after this stream. Or I might just keep listening to the music. Who knows? What am I listening to now? Oh, Don't Forget Me When I'm Gone by Glass Tiger. Alright, I think I dig her boots. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna just. That's better. I promise I'm gonna do a background eventually. I just. I'm probably doing this backwards by some people's standards, but I definitely do, um, I definitely do my, uh, I feel like I haven't shown you guys. Can you see the detail? I'm checking my stream. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for anybody who's watching this that, like, later, who sees, like, nobody in the chat. <laughs> this, it's gonna just have this gray bar on the side of my screen. I guess I could have just expanded out the, the drawing. Oh well. It is what it is. I need to get a better lighting situation though. I am like so pale. Oh my god. I got my nails. Fake nails. Can you hear this? Hold on. Is that like ASMR? <laughs> anyway, ASMR for me. I can tapping sound. I wonder. Yeah, I probably can't hear that. That's probably better. Anyway, back to drawing. I swear I'm focused. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, it's been a while since I've saved. I'm gonna save. Always save your work. You know what, I think I'm going to go find an overlay for the tweed pattern that I wanted for her. Uh, tweed. 
texture. Get me when I'm gone. I hit cancel instead of open. Great job, Bree. You're doing great work here. So here it is, the texture that I found just on the internet. I'm going to float this one. Okay, now I can film it. And I'm just going to close this out because I don't need it anymore. Bye. Ooh, that looks weird. Boop. Boop. <laughs> That could be a really cute dress, but uh, no, not today. Oof. That's kind of cool, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask it, and I'm actually going to go in... I'm going to paint away some of this. I don't want it to be on her, like, sweater. Bruh. Oh. My opacity was still 20. <laughs> Always check your opacity. All right. I'm also going to... There we go. That looks a little better. And then I'm going to... Bruh, what? No. Don't do that. Okay. Back to the mask. I'm paint it away from her. I want I want her sweater to be like kind of a... Like a tank... A smooth tank top that she like threw over her... Threw over her, uh, her dress. I'm going to differentiate the materials between her skirt and her shirt here. I'm going to also paint just a little bit further out so the shadow kind of... See, they kind of can't tell. Yeah, there we go. I like that there's some texture to her dress. Um, and you know, I can actually select different pieces of this too. And what I can do is, oops, you know, actual, and then I can, god damn it. I can also layer it on top, and I can literally mask away the darker areas, make it look a little more obvious in some places, and not as obvious in others. Yeah, I dig that. I dig that a lot. Really giving it some, um, giving it some depth here. Now see, if I was a traditional painter, I probably would have had to paint all of that. There's nothing wrong with just 
using stuff that you can find. Like there's, that's a perk. It's a perk of being a digital artist. Well, I've actually, you know, I said I wasn't, I was like, oh, I feel like I haven't done anything, but you know, I actually feel like I really, I'm pretty much finished with Lily. Her hand still looks like crap, but I feel like I can get away with it. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Ugh. I'm going back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, what is this? It's a face. I'm so dumb. Okay. <laughs> it's Jesus. Okay. All right, fam. I'm still standing. I like this song, but I'm going to skip it, actually. Oh, I love Footloose. This is one of the first. It's Let's Hear It for the Boy by uh, Denise Williams. It's in the classic Footloose movie. I haven't seen the new one because I refuse to see the new one. Don't at me. Um. My baby, don't talk sweet. You ain't got much to say. I love this song, though. But he loves me, loves me, loves me. I know that he loves me anyway. My baby, don't be fine. I don't really mind. Oh. It's I just want to cheer. Let's hear for the boy. Let's get a boy a hand. Let's hear for my baby. You know you gotta understand. Oh, make me know. I'm sorry. You did not come here for singing. You came here for drawing. I will shut up. I will try to shut up. I can't promise anything. <laughs> I love this song a little too much. All right. I'm not going to touch the hand anymore. I did what I did. All right. Makeup time. I want to play around a little more with the makeup. <laughs> okay. So, homegirl is gothic. Like, I need to really darken this shit up. Off key. Your thoughts are wrapped by me. Yes. Yas, bitch. Fucking yas, bitch. Can you tell that I'm a basic white girl sometimes? Because I am. I'm just, I'm putting it out there. So this should not, it's no longer a surprise. I'm a basic white girl sometimes. I'm also a whole ass nerd. So it is what it is. Don't judge people. I think I'm going to make a dark background, and for her eyes, I'm going to actually make them glow a little bit, just so they can kind of... What the hell did I just do? I would like to undo that, please. Um, because I don't want to... Like, I need to communicate to y'all that it is... She has blank eyes, like the white eyes.
There we go. I just wanted to add some more texture, like her skirt's actually kind of folding over her legs. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna save again because I haven't saved in a little bit. A little bit. Okay, Dario looks so weird because he's just color versus like shading and lighting and, and everything. And I haven't even touched her hair, so like this is really. Mm. I might need to refill my wine. Can you guess what this is? <laughs> Something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of fitting since this is Monster of the Week and like our little uh, our little party in a it's kind of like a, a group of Ghostbusters per se, sort of. Okay, this is oh oh wig snatched um wig. <laughs> Uh, anyway, all right, so hair. I'm probably going to get judged real hard on how I do hair, but it's okay. We're just going to, we're going to work with it. Mm, yes. Ghostbusters! I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'm afraid of no. I am afraid of a ghost. I shouldn't say that. I listen to a lot of um. I listen to a couple paranormal podcasts. Um. <laughs> I would totally lose my mind if I ever saw a ghost. I don't think I've ever seen a ghost. If I did, it was one of those situations where I was just like, I didn't know they were dead, which is extra terrifying. Actually, before I do anything, I'm gonna... So, black hair is tricky because it's like you don't want to use straight black because you have to kind of give it some sort of definition. But also, that's, it's just tough. It's just tough. Feel good. Afraid of no ghost. This is tough. I don't know how I'm liking this. This might take some work. It's hard to tell too, like it's just so dark that there's not much differentiation between the colors and I like. I could probably throw this away right now because I don't need this, so I can just. Uh, no, I don't need any changes to this. So we'll just focus on homegirl here. <sighs> oh my god. The song that just started playing is... Um, <clears throat> tonight I'm gonna rock you tonight by Spinal Tap. Which, um, if you don't know, is a joke. <laughs> that movie is amazing. Me and my boyfriend still make jokes about it. He's the one who showed me the original of it. Um, I'm gonna rock you. And I'm gonna rock it tonight. What the actual hell? What the fuck? I did not choose this brush. Why is it doing that? Am I pressing a button without realizing it? 
Oh my god. This is a hot damn mess! Still a great song. This song may be a joke, but it is still really good. And I don't even care. Again, it looks rough. I'll fix it. I will fix it. <laughs> Still in the house. Tonight I'm gonna rock it. Tonight I'm gonna rock it. too with black hair it's like you really can't get darker than black you can't do vanta black in photoshop almost said photo photo <laughs> oh shit what is this oh the look oh it's so hard i don't understand um what if you do near dodge i wonder what that would do Let's experiment, Chuana. All right. I'll do like the little anime dot shine things, even though it's totally not my style. Apparently that's the style that everybody likes though, so maybe I should change my style. They don't even look like they belong there. Come on. <laughs> Zoom in, damn it. Oh my god, my Photoshop is just... Oh, that's a mess. That's looking a little better. Now it's starting to look like I actually put something in her hair instead of just made it black. <laughs> I 
All right. Um, it's looking like Lily is done pretty much. This is tough. I like, can't tell if I want to. Hmm, actually, okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll go with that. That works. See, you know, that's kind of one of the things I always love about art is like, you never really stop learning how to do things. <laughs> There's always like a new thing that you kind of start adapting with. Yeah, I dig it. I really dig it. Okay. Yeah, that okay, that turned out way better than I thought. Sweet. Okay, yeah, Lily Lily looks done. Um well I could probably add some more to her lips a little bit. Um Let's go back to her. God, the line art looks so different. Although if I kept the line art, it kinda looks like a comment. You know, I kind of like the way her eyeliner looks with the line, the line art. I'm gonna think I might darken it up a little. Uh, I just gotta find the layer that I was supposed to be going with this one. <laughs> Jesus, uh, I need to get way, way better at um, labeling my layers. <laughs> I was supposed to learn that in school, did I? <laughs> kind of, but not really. <laughs> Might have gone a tid bit overboard. Time after time. That's better. That's that's a little better. Yeah, Lily is done. So next time I will be working on Dario. That is exciting. That's really exciting. I'll uh, be working on the other, I'll be working on my boyfriend's character. Um, I kind of, I guess I kind of didn't want to work on him, his character this time because I did have a few questions for him because I want to do it. I want to do it the way he wants his character to look. I didn't want to just like completely take all the creative liberty with it. Um, so I have a few questions to ask him before I like for sure go real hard in the paint on his character. Um, but that's exciting. I'm sure he'll be really excited to hear that I'll be really um, drawing his character next. I just want to fix some of these spots, make them a little darker, because it is looking a little gray right now, and I don't want it to be gray, I want it to be black. So. Oh, I love this song! We built this city on rock and roll, built this city. We built this city. I think Ninja Sex Party actually just did a cover of this for their new Under the Covers album, which I love those, because obviously I am a huge 80s movie fan <laughs> um, yes 
that's better. That's a little better. Dun, dun. My little goth girl. Did I just unplug something? Okay, no, I didn't. I thought I did for a second. My little goth girl, she's done. How exciting. I'm out of wine. All right, well. Um. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Radio, won't you remember? We built this city. Dun, 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 dun. Built this city on a rock and a roll. We built this city. That's probably a good background call. Rock and I built this city. We built this. You know what? Let's do neutral gray for now. Obviously, that's not neutral gray, but we'll work with it. Um. Anyway, yeah, that is. I'm trying to show it to where it's like just her. Um. All right, one little once over before I go. This is uh, Lily. Next time, I will be working on Dario. Um, and then after that, I'll probably be working on the background. There's not even three Sundays left in, I think this is the last Sunday in January, but you know what, whatever. Um, I'll do a smaller piece for February since February is a smaller month, so uh, yeah. All right, uh, this, is, uh, this has been, um, I'm gonna save before I do anything else. Do not wanna lose any of my progress. Um, okay, okay. I'm closing out. I'm closing out. Um, this has been my first ever stream on Twitch. I did it. I did it. Um, I'm gonna take my music out now too. Uh, wow, this is this is really exciting. Um, this is a milestone. So y'all will catch me. Um, follow me on all my social media down there. Uh, I've got Instagram, TikTok. TikTok's more cosplay stuff, but I mean, hey, I'm there. If y'all want to check out my stuff, it's there. Um, I do have a coffee if you um, want to support my art. That'd be really cool, but obviously, no pressure. It's just there. Art Station if you want to view my portfolio. Um, the Instagram is kind of in my portfolio as well. All of it's Breezlebit, so you can find me on those places. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, this has been Breezlebit's first ever stream. Junko Pose, whatever. Um, Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna stream next Sunday at seven. This is gonna probably be my regular time since I don't work on Sundays. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, if, if any of you join me at any time, what, whatever, it's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to end these, so I guess I'll just say bye. Look forward to some some pretty great stuff later. You know when I have everything set up, like all my fancy widgets and, you know, pre-stream stuff, material, and a better overlay, and, um, yeah, and feel free to chat me, like, I will be watching the chat during draws, 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 drawing, whatever, I, I do watch my chat, so I'd love to talk to you guys, um, cool, okay, I'm gonna stop babbling, you guys have a great night, or morning, or whatever, where you are, have a great Time is an illusion. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>